football world, football lads world, football hooligans world, casuals world. Uh, you already know who it is. Del Boy Diablo, Uncle Del. <laughs> Del Diablo, Diablo TV, like, subscribe, do things you're supposed to do. Uh. And get a request. Got some requests and it's overdue, I suppose. I already done one video talking about none other than Chelsea. Chelsea FC firm Chelsea Headhunters. Now, thing about it is, I've been educated more and some of them lads have reached out to me, even though they say that they, that no held head headhunters around no more. Same thing a lot of a lot of firms. They're keeping the name going, but they're all way old, let's say. But a, a thing about it is, besides you know, I don't be going into the politics really. I try not to. None of my friends talk about politics with me in the UK. But uh, it's inescapable. Chelsea Headhunters, it's got a Nazi past. It's it's kind of to, to, to combat 18. You know what I mean? So, Glad has, they reached out to me to, to try to clear the name basically after I had done one video about it. You know, basically saying yes, that, that was about there was a time period but i've seen the flags and chelsea had hundreds of people have threatened me and everything like that and representing the nazi stuff and send me a flag a, a, a st george's cross flag and i got ian stewart donaldson from screwdriver the guy's face on it no surrender and everything like that and we already know that they definitely use a totten cup they definitely use death's head even in the movie football factory they're using that totten cup in the chelsea and you know it's not like they didn't put it you know what i mean they didn't show overt but that's a, that's a nazi score so the thing about it is, clear the air, there's an article about it you could re read, you could find it on your own, I, I read it a long time ago. And basically, it, somebody w was interviewing Chelsea Headhunters, right, and it's a feared firm, all right, it's a feared firm, it's a top firm. You know, they, like a Cardiff, they told me at the top, the, I, I seen Jonathan Evans and Anna Abraham rate Chelsea and Millwall is the best, you know, so there's a massive there's an awesome fight of, of chelsea versus cardiff at chelsea so the thing about it is i'm not saying nothing that they're not a top firm all right i'm not i'm not saying anything like that what i am saying is that i'll leave it up to y'all because okay they have black lads with them and somebody was interviewing them and was like saying how does that work these guys are a bunch of, bunch of them are, not, are open nazis and basically what what the what the one chap that they interviewed black lad what he said and it's what i've experienced basically it's like yeah a lot of them have those type of ideas or beliefs or, or whatever but more or less if you turn up and you show respect you'll get respect if you can carry yourself that way but then combat 18 uh, you can look up on your own there's a documentary about combat 18 and everything like that they were in, in intricately connected with me members of of chelsea headhunters you know what I mean so it's in, inescapable in the comments below i'll let you guys talk about it just because you're a Chelsea supporter doesn't make you a Nazi. I stayed in Chelsea. <laughs> I stayed there for like four or five days. You know, I walk around when pubs. I was, you know, I, I myself, the same thing I do everywhere. Walk around, have cans and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I got clocked by people who's Chelsea and everything like that. I don't, I didn't meet any actual headhunters. People tell me that they're going to be, they're, they're too old. So I'll, I'll open it up to y'all. But uh, it's inescapable. Chelsea had on this connection with Combat 18 and the National Front and so forth and the Bulldog newspaper, you know what I mean? And then if you look up their stories, then they got the Charlie Sergeant, but he was really a cop, you know what I mean? And letter bomb campaigns and everything, so, you know what I mean? It's, where, it, it's a point where the politics and the football connects. No club is as closely associated with Nazism than Chelsea. And they have, they have the independent supporters, they fought against each other and everything, like, they have anti-racist too. But uh, I'll leave it for y'all to decide. As for me, I got no friendship with them. I got I can make personal friends, individual. I have some friends that's Chelsea, individually, but I don't ever want to meet up with no headhunters and that, that kind of thing as a firm. And I'm not going to be friends with them individually. It's different. But uh, I'll put it, I'll leave it up to you. It's Chelsea headhunters, a Nazi firm, up and down, point blank, or is it that some of the members were into it and it was a passing phase? That's what one of their lads told me. That I was around in the early 80s, but that went away, basically. You tell me.